what special sis and sis dba privileges on the sis accounts having in oracle or database normally uh, we should not give uh, never ever use sis or sis dba uh, privileges accounts for application purposes like uh, it is uh, we need to use it for oracle database administrator still you can use for maintenance purpose like uh, whenever the bounce of database on startup and shutdown and backup and recovery like uh, restoring the database and uh, patr so these are the maintenance purpose like uh, The database, especially uh, it's for database maintenance purpose. You can use still you can use it for sys or sysdb uh, accounts. But uh, still, uh, sys and sysdb is very easy, especially in Oracle database. Uh, database uh, sys sysdb is Oracle proprietary. Uh, Try right to open Azure or uh, uh, starting with I did that with sys or sysdb, and you will still. See the immediate answer for the Oracle support. Sys or SysDBA does not act like any other user. When you use Sys or SysDBA, Oracle deactivates some code path and activates others. Whatever you do with Sys or SysDBA will neither validate or not invalidate the same thing with any other user. Never ever use sys sysdba for anything that can be done by another user. Use sys or sysdba only for something that can't be done by someone else, which means any of the other user, any of the application user, any of the development database uh, development user. So something it's special. This can be used for database administrator db only. So it means exactly what it said. Sys is not an Oracle user or schema. It is not for use. Sys does not follow consistent read. Sys objects can't go in recycle bin when you drop them. Sys is out of the scope of relational database. Sys or Sys DBA is the way to manage the database itself, not its content. This is why Sys can't connect without Sys or Sys DBA option, right? Sys SysDB is the way to manage the database itself, not its content. This is why Sys can't connect without Sys over and SysDB option. So for that, uh, not only because you must create your own accounts, it is also under above all because it does not act as a, a normal account. On the other other hand. DBA privilege, of course, DBA role should not be granted to anyone, as well as connect or resource ones. Create your own roles depending on depending on your organization requirements. When you work with any of the customer, and still you can create three DBA roles named like uh, DBA level one, DBA level two, and DBA level three. So these three roles you can create and uh, organize. I mean, uh, customize the roles and the based on the DBA uh, level one, level two, level three kind of. So you can uh, customize the roles to uh, assign the roles to the privileges. Plus another one named DBA FAF. It is for performance tuning purposes. So you can create another role also. Dedicated to performance goals with increasing privileges. Yeah, DBA connects with the DBA underscore level one when he needs more privileges and is allowed to he he wants to upgrade to next level using a procedure protecting the roles. Cannot simply use set of roles. He has to give a parameter that mentions why he needs to upgrade, and obviously this is recorded. When he no more needs of previous added privileges, he must downgrade to the lower level. Right? The first level allows the DBA to do the 90% of the his common task, DBA task. 
So no level has select any, DML any, execute any privileges. The goal is the least privileges are most always powerful privileges the less possible time. And also the details of privileges will depend on your organization standards. But I can give you the privileges as a grant to the DBL score level, uh, grant to the role to the DBL score level 1 as an example I have given. So you can give the DBA level 1 for the DBA level 1 guys, you can give this privileges like press trace, select catalog route, administer SQL management object, administer SQL tuning set, advisor, alter database, alter rollback segment, alter session, alter system, alter table space, alter user, create session, manage table space, restricted session, resumable, select any dictionary, execute on system, DBMS and SQL monitor, execute on system, SQL DBMS and workflow repository. So these are the DBA level one guys. You can set up, uh, you can assign these roles to these privileges. Still, uh, DBA score performance is special. It is given to the DBA that are dedicated to optimized application performances and added database performances. For this task, it contains select any and execute any, but the DBA that have this role does not have the other DBA underscore level one. Privileges and used to manage the database structures, objects, and users. And of course, DDM are logged. Okay, this is what the sys, uh, sys db user uh, privileges. It's very special to Oracle database. All right, stay connected, Oracle phone. We'll see you on next video. Thank you very much.